Aloha and welcome to Live at the Legislature. I'm Jill Kuramoto. Every week we've had a chance to sit down with Hawaii Senators to talk about the issues and the events that have been happening during this legislative session. Joining us for this final edition of Live at the Legislature is Senate Majority Caucus Leader Senator Brickwood Galateria. Senator, Senator Galateria represents District 12, which encompasses Waikiki to Ala Moana, Mo'ili Ili to Makiki, and, or Makali. And okay. <laughs> good morning. Thank you very much for sure. joining us. Yeah, nice to be here. And so we have come to the end of session. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about what your takeaway is. I know that we've heard progressive and collaborative yep. and efficient. Those are some of the words that were used to describe this session. Yeah. What are your thoughts? It's a wrap. <laughs> 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 Pretty much it. Yeah, it's over. But uh, I think we've got a lot done. Uh, I, I've heard the same words. I think another word would be aggressive. It was progressive, but it was aggressive too. It took, a, you know, it took some spirit to move some of these uh, bills, but it also was a no-brainer to help out Kauai and East Oahu uh, and surrounding vicinities, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's where I think the true metal of a legislature is. It's stepping up when it's time to step up. We're going to hash all session on a meaningful and impactful bills, but when it's time to go and it's time to help, I think this legislature stepped up. And so that's why I'm really proud of this session. Uh, we did many things, you know, besides the 100 million for Kauai relief and the 25 million for uh, the southeastern corridor of Oahu and surrounding vicinities and other areas. I think it was uh, very important to note that the full spectrum of policy we covered homelessness, right. uh, another 30 million towards homelessness, uh, 200 million towards affordable housing. So, those in and of itself are enough to say, hey, it was a successful. Right. Uh, session. But then you have, uh, you have other incredibly meaningful bills that have society impact. Societal impact are things like, uh, uh, you know, our choice. Yeah, our care, our choice. Our care, our choice. And, you know, for one to make that decision, uh, which is not an easy decision to make, okay. putting the correct safeguards in place so that it's not just a whimsical decision on the, on the cuff, you know. So I think that uh, was a truly meaningful uh, bill that passed. And it took many, many years for yeah. this to pass. So oh, it's, yes, it's, absolutely. It's, I mean, sometimes uh, that's what happens, right? That's what happens. Sometimes it takes a long time. Look, uh, in, in past years, we had marriage equality. Before that, we had civil unions. I mean, it didn't, wasn't overnight. So these things take time. You know, we got some really interesting, I think, uh, pathways to go. We're going to ask the electorate to vote on uh, something that's going to be meaningful for education. Uh, so, you know, to shall we tax investment properties and in what way? And, and it's going to be uh, geared specifically towards education. So uh, that's something that's going to be on the ballot. Many of us will be on the ballot. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, now uh, that we're done with the, this legislative session, we now pivot to our communities. Right. We'll and start talking with everybody. Exactly. So just because you're not in session doesn't mean the work stops. Oh, not at all. In fact, uh, we've got a five-month session, and so we're cramming everything. Every day means something, and it's only 60 working days. After that, we go to the community again, you know, ask them for our support, but most importantly, ask them, what do you think? Right. You know, exactly. how can we be of service to you? Because we're all public service. Exactly. And so, uh, you know, I'm not sure how much time we got left, but I got a special story I want to share with you. Yes, I think this is a good one too, a yeah. very personal story about what you do, why you do what you do. Why we do what we do, and it's, uh, it's something that struck me as important enough to share with colleagues on close to closing day, it was on final reading day, and I saw the path clear because nobody stood up, right? So, okay, now I got some time. <laughs> and so I asked the president for, uh, you know, to rise on the point of personal privilege, which is a, a moment that we can share our innermost feelings sometimes. And this had nothing to do with anything of the big stuff. So I, I wasn't standing up to talk towards, 
you know, the, uh, the relief effort or, or the, uh, uh, the homelessness or the affordable housing. There was a bill that I crafted that was based on a personal experience. As most of our bills are, we're informed by our personal experiences. So I got a dear friend, uh, two dear friends, uh, Molly and Billy. Molly is uh, um, uh, disabled, but she actually was a wonderful athlete who was rendered you know, disabled by a terrible accident. So she's uh, paraplegic and well, somewhat quadriplegic because her, her arms are in a, a permanent uh, grasp, right? But, so I hadn't seen them for a while. They used to come and see me play music all the time when I was in that other life. And, uh, but we still do have jam sessions during this session too, by the way. Just mm -hmm. letting you know, you're, you're always invited. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, so I saw Molly and Billy after years uh, at one of the you know stores, mm -hmm. like Longs or something like that. And then we went out, said hello, went out, and they they walked to their car, I walked to mine. And their car was outfitted, retrofitted, for uh, a special circumstance, right? So I'm saying, wow, okay, you retrofitted your car? Yeah, we retrofitted the car. So Molly proceeds to press her wheelchair button and the ramp comes down. And then she guides herself into the car. Billy said, oh, she pecked me on the cheek first. <laughs> Billy, uh, on the other hand, gives me a big hug and then he proceeds to jump into the passenger seat, okay? Molly swings into the driver's seat, puts her arms into a special device, uh, well, custom made steering wheel for herself. And then she, uh, she proceeds to back up the car and drive off. And I'm thinking, that's wild. Absolutely incredible for me to observe that. And then I wondered what it took to retrofit a car of that nature, because it doesn't come like that. You sure. got it. It's customized. Sure. And all of the people who uh, perhaps uh, deal with the situation. So I crafted a bill that was very simple. It uh, gave them uh, an exemption on weight tax for the vehicle. Yeah, because all of that equipment is That's sort of right. So it made its down. way through, mm -hmm. all the way through to the very end. And now uh, it's up on the governor's desk, and I'm sure he's going to sign it. We'll make a big deal of it when it is. But the neat thing about it is, I didn't tell Molly or Billy about this. We just did it. And then with the help of Olelo, Olelo is one of, one of the guys that worked for Olelo is her neighbor, mm -hmm. who sent her the floor speech. And that's how she found out. Then she called me just the other day to thank me. Now, those are the things we do, and that's why we do what we do. So we're all servants, and I'm glad you asked me to, to be here live at the legislature with you. Thank you, Jill. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and thank you to Alelo for allowing us this opportunity to share what the actions of the Senate does every day of the session. So thank you for watching live at the legislature. Aloha.